this, this is the start of my day. What's up everyone? Welcome back to my channel. It's about that time for the rhythm and the rhyme. Pokemon time? Nope, not this time. <laughs> so anyway, welcome back to the channel. Today, we're going to do a little something different. Not Pokemon related, not travel, not food. Doing something uh, that's that's been a hobby of mine. Once used to be a passion, but nowadays it's more like once every few months out of the year. But today, we are going to look at this. The Portanova Navy 30mm from Bandai model kit. 30mm stands for 30 minute mission. So we're going to do the Portanova Navy. I don't know if you guys uh, know what a model kit is. Bandai produces uh, a line called Gundam like in Japan. And so Gundam is all about robots. I'm a big fan of robots. Let's look at the box before I tear it open. This is what we're building right here and you can see in the background that there are different types of things that you can add on to this model kit so what the base model of the portanova and on the side here you can see exactly what you're going to be building there and you can uh i, I don't think it actually comes with a stand but you can put it on a stand right there you can see that black there and then the multiple poses that you can do with this Portanova. On the side, it's just a bigger picture of the Portanova. On the back here, it's just showing you what you're going to use from what's in this box onto the model kit. And on the back side here are just warning labels. Now to open this up, this is pretty typical of a Gundam model kit. This is something I used to do when I was... I think that's when Gundam Wing first came out to, the, to America. That's your first tray right there. This is what they call a tray. Plastic colored in gray, navy blue, gray right here. There's some stickers down here. And we've got another set of trays. We've got one, two, three, three more, three more trays, basically. So it looks like these are going to be the joints of what makes the model kit actually move just so we get everything out of here we got the assembly instructions this is basically your legalese what you're going to be doing and right here is the actual instructions i'm definitely going to be using this on this model kit because i've actually never built a 30 minute model kit you can see how simple it is right here you've got like the right arm unit the left arm unit waist unit left leg unit right leg unit and <laughs> there's a thing called a roy roy and weapons and then some equipment that you can use you can put onto the portanova there are as far as i know there's three different type of forms of the robot portanova is one of them alto is the other one and there is another one that uh, has come out during 2020 which i don't know about and so like i said that is ba the base set of the portanova i decided to end up getting a little optional armor for the portanova and it's in a maroon color you can see in the maroon color it's got the shield here some shoulder pads a chest plate and head like a headpiece basically there you go dark color now you're probably wondering how the heck do I get these things off the trays? As a person who has built Gundams many, many a times, I have a tool kit. I'll show you some of the tools that I usually use. Now these right here, these are called nippers. This one's uh, fairly standard, very sharp here at the point. These aren't the best. These are probably mid-range type of nippers. So with that being said, when you're cutting the pieces off the trays, you do have to use this flat side right here to make sure that you're cutting it flush. Now with the plastic model kit, that's going to leave a little marking on the figure. So to rectify it, you get something like this. And this is the sander. And you've got different 
types of smoothness and roughness. So you would probably use this dark black one here, dark gray one here, to start off the sanding to get get the nub down to as far to the piece as you can. This white one's a little finer, so that's going to kind of smooth out the edges. And then this light gray right here will just make it look like that plastic piece was on its own. This yellow piece right here, this is if you have made a mistake. <laughs> so let's say you've got two pieces together right here. You use this to wedge it in, knock out the two attach or the attachments that the pieces are together with. Some more file file stuff here. This is this is one that I use more for bigger models. So this is supposed to be a 30 minute mission. I should technically get this done in 30 minutes. This right here is just something to cut with. You can cut the, this is actually used more for the stickers. So you're cutting out pieces of the sticker so that you're rounding out the edges of the stickers so you don't have just like a nice square piece and then you put it on to the, to the model kit and you can still see like the square piece. And that's about it. But I also use this. These are Gundam markers. You've got them in various colors. I don't know if I'm gonna be using that on this particular model kit because I would use these type of colors more for a white type of model. Just so I can add a little bit more color to it, you know, maybe some blue highlights or gold highlights or something like that. There's one thing I am missing. Hold on. <laughs> I forgot the most important part. These are micron pens. They're very small in in their point. This is the 0 .01. I actually use this one a lot. See that point right there? So this is what we use for panel lighting. And it kind of just, there's so much details in these plastic model kits that you can't see without showing you know without doing some panel lighting showing you some of the detail so with that being said i am actually not building this tonight and i really don't think it's going to be a 30 minute mission because i am a detailed oriented type of person when it comes to building these model kits but i just wanted to give you a little bit of what we're going to do on this particular video so see you guys next time